I already shot him. That's good. <laughs> also, I, I only have a single screen instead of my normal dual monitors, so it'll probably be slower. Ah, uh, fun. Yay. <laughs> uh, Dale? Um, uh, hey? Why do we have a jail? He's not really <laughs> A wild jail has appeared. Did you start the recording, Barry? It is live and up and going. Okay. User in your channel timed out. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Kylar is having <laughs> Kyler? Uh, uh, having difficulties. Star Wars Legends of the Force, Episode 2, Chapter 3, A Hornet's Nest. True to Dell's vision, all of our heroes managed to find themselves a way into Block's mansion on Ventuine for the gala. After searching for hours, they successfully located the Hornet and ambushed him on the way to Block's collection room. With the aid of the others, Lexa seems sure to get her bounty. But will they be able to accomplish Dell's mission, finding the Sith artifact, without any further complications? Or have they stirred up a Hornet nests of trouble? My vote is the Hornet's nest. Uh -huh. it's, there's a lot of missing pieces and it could be very interesting depending on what goes on. User joined your channel. Welcome back. Again. It's gonna be one of those days. Uh <laughs> Do you need me to shoot your router? No, no. I might just need to switch <laughs> If it happens again, I'll move. I'll move locations in my house. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure because shooting the router would not help. In this place where I have had good Wi-Fi today, it decides to have like half a bar. I don't know. It's just like the dot. It's not even like the bar <laughs> radiating out of it. So it'll be fun. <laughs> uh. Tactical difficulties, why? <laughs> okay, um, so last time we had just left off with you guys ambushing the Hornet and pulling him out of stealth and him being mind sharded and drained energyed by Picaz. And then he threw a stun grenade and it went off for minimal damage and broke Dell and Kalani out of stealth. So now everyone is de-stealthed and we're didn't all in this corner. Didn't I go back into stealth? Oh, did you? Pretty sure. Uh, the, the rule says, quote unquote, yes, you did. <laughs> yes, <laughs> right. the rule says you are very stealthy. <laughs> well, also, why does, how about Ajax? Ajax should roll so he can get in the turn order in case he wants to do anything. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Ten, ten stealth is better than nothing. Well, I apparently want to do more things than you people. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was first. <laughs> My blaster is in the other room. I don't know what y'all are talking about. I'm thinking I'm going to go get my blaster. <laughs> yeah, I remembered that my sword is still in a locker somewhere. I don't need a sword. <laughs> Punch him in the face. Or a fist. Sumo snap! My strength is a 9. That's a negative 1 to the bonus I roll. I can just sit there and say, why are you hitting yourself? <laughs> hey, <laughs> I have strength 18. Rawr. Okay, Ajax, roll perception. <laughs> Oh, boy. Okay, so it's pretty much still the middle of dinner here. So aside from a little bit of disturbance when some 
person that you know to be Kalani came in and spilled food all over some helpless uh. side product and got yelled at. Um, things are going pretty normally. You're trying to keep an eye on things and make sure no one's threatening your client. And he's been trying to talk with people, um, mostly just to socialize, but also to try to see if he could get any contacts for who he might hire to be a bodyguard after you leave today. But with your high vigilance, you notice someone uh, walking behind you guys uh, past the table, and he sneezes, and you see a, like a drop of liquid fly into Dirk's goblet. <laughs> um, can you tell me more about this person? They look like they're dressed up as uh, someone who's attending the gala. They're a Ventuinian. They're of they average look, build. Do they look sketchy? They look like they're dressed up for the event. They're wearing a tuxedo. No, I meant more like their facial expression. Uh, you don't see their facial expression. You see the back of his head. Yeah, I'll turn to Dirk. You might want to grab a different glass. <laughs> what, what? What are you talking about? Uh, someone sneezed into it. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> then he will try to flake down a uh, waiter. Roll perception again. <laughs> so you see the the guy stop for a second and then keep walking away. I will monitor him with vigilance. Okay. While still monitoring the rest of the room. <laughs> okay, Alexa, it is your turn. Uh, remind me again what's going on in this room. In this room, there are a uh, bunch of, like, manual grunt servants who are doing the same stuff as Bacaz, and they are currently in the process of um, setting everything up, although it's mostly finished now. So there are some no. people just walking in and out, mainly people who are clearing out the reception hall below this room, uh, and they're clearing up the stuff, so they're basically just walking through this room up to the north corridor where everyone is trying to carry stuff back to the kitchens so I imagine when I saw the stealth guy and he attacked me and that's someone's probably ran off to report that if people are walking through the hallway right next to us and you probably also heard me say something about someone not supposed to be back here or something. Okay, um, I want to continue going up uh, to where they all are, um, but can I also take a perception check just to see what's going on around me while I'm moving that way? Sure. Not, my is not great, guys. It's not. Yeah, so as you continue walking, you see some people um, start running out of the hallway, yelling something about an explosion. Um, and you see some people in the room sort of taking notice of that. But no one seems to have acted on anything yet. I can get there with a 12. Okay, is my audio still having problems, or is it good? Sounds fine to me. Fine to yeah. me. Yeah, you're coming in clear right now. Besides the occasional buzz buzz, but that's it. But, okay, so I, people have taken notice that there's an explosion happened. Yes. 
Okay. Mine good. I would hope so. He threw a stun grenade. <laughs> Probably the loudest grenade there is. Actually, people in the reception hall might have heard something off in the distance. <laughs> You never know, maybe someone just dropped something. Really big. <laughs> True, that far away could be mistaken for that. Maybe, kinda. Zeppy zeppy. One of the loading droids tipped over. <laughs> gonk, 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 gonk. That said, someone probably ran for the security room. I have to come through here. Well, I mean, see him. there's been a, there's supposed to have been like a stream of workers going through this hallway. Yes, as of right now, you don't see any workers anymore since both of the streams ran the opposite direction. Okay, so then Dell just starts uh, walking down the corridor. And then the Hornet... Um. Uh, takes a look at Pekaz, and then turns around. Well, that's something where my broken he runs away. But I'm guessing all three of those rooms are treasure rooms of some kind. So this is a room uh, that you've actually been in before. This one is one of the unlocked rooms. That's just sort of a general lounge area. Oh, okay. Okay, Picasso. Now to do what I always do. Can I see him, or did the door close behind him, or...? Yes, when you get up there, you see that the door has closed. One moment. I forgot to open my character. Window. Okay, then I'm gonna hmm, run. There we go. Okay, I, I use all of my action stuff to get there. And that's my turn. What? The door's closed. You're in now. Well, you walk through the door. He's taking a page out of uh, Mr. Kool Aid. Or well, the Kool Aid I mean, Man, actually. Did, did he lock the door? I don't know, you or have to something? check to see if the door will open if you try to open it. Okay, then yeah, I tried to open it. And it's locked. Perception? Yes. Okay, yeah, you see that the door is sort of just slammed shut and it's locked, but you see there's some sort of keypad off on to the uh, wall to the right of the door, so the side that you're closest to. And you also sort of notice on there's like a very thin crack between the door just like a little bit of the ground uh, and there's sort of like a flashing light a flashing light like on, for coming from inside 
Yeah. You can't really see that much detail just because it's pretty bright in the corridor, but you can see that there's some sort of light that's not constant coming from the other side of the door. Oh, well, I can probably survive if it's a bomb. Um, can I try and open the door with the panel? Uh, how many squares away were you when you started? How many, have you moved more than six squares? Yes. Okay, then I'd say it's a standard action to try to open it with the panel, so you don't have a standard action left. Okay. Then I... <laughs> I will stand here for now, and I will take a free action to say hey, that the intruder's gone into the room, but it's locked. And I think that's all I'll say. Maybe, does anyone know if there's another way out through here? Do I? Well, I say this out loud to anyone who can... I yell it out. Yeah, Alexa, anyone. you know that there are windows in that room that overlook the east lawn. Uh, I mean, the west lawn. There are windows in that room you can bust out of. Well, then your bounty's making a run for it. Stop him! And that's the end of my turn, because I can't do anything more. Okay, Aland. I think at this point, Aland is thinking, yeah, time to go alert security slash go get his guns. And he's going to head towards uh, the locker rooms. I think that's 12 squares. Do you want to yell after him to grab your sword? Yeah. <laughs> I, did, I didn't know if that would be appropriate, but I really wanted to. Okay, Kalani. Hmm. First of all, move to there. Sword kitty bust down door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking that. She got a new lightsaber. lightsaber time? Yeah. Yep, I think I'm gonna draw my lightsaber and charge the door. Rawr. Okay. When you say charge the door, does that mean you're using the charge ability? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Make a attack roll. That gets a plus two? Yeah. Okay, so you slash through the door with... Well, since you have two lightsabers, we'll say you in like both your lightsabers and slash through the door. And you open up a hole in the door. Because the door does not offer very much resistance. Hee <laughs> hee. 
the hole is uh, just like one square wide. It's right in front of you in the middle part of the door. Okay, I don't know that I can do much more than that. What color is your lightsaber? This one is Ruian, <laughs> which is pretty close to the other one. <laughs> yeah, so you run up the hallway and charge the door, and while you run, you pull out your lightsaber, and you ignite it, and as it's igniting, you slash it through the door. And it cuts through very easily. Okay, Ajax. Yeah. <clears throat> what? <laughs> do you want to do anything? Aside from continue watching the room? No. Okay. You see that guy continue walking. Would you like to make a perception check to see what else you see in the room? Sure. Sounds great. You see that he keeps on walking and that no one else in the uh, whole room seems to be doing anything out of the ordinary. And Dirk is flagging down a waiter who starts walking in your direction. Okay, Lexa. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm gonna go, obviously, give chase and go after him. I can't, I can't let him go. What's the Jedi doing up in the hall? Uh, you mean Del? Yeah, Del. He's uh, walking rapidly down the hall, away from you guys. Okay. Oh, and I'm officially visible again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but Pez, did he stealth again? <laughs> yes, he did. Actually, yeah. That's a good point. He probably should stealth. Soon as I get move object on this guy, he's not going anywhere. Okay, do you want to do anything else, Lexa? I don't think there's anything I can do. Okay. Did you use double your movement speed? Yeah. So it's my turn. Uh, no. Okay. Everyone will perception. Ooh, another nat 20. I see everyone again. <laughs> and it begins. I got 18, which is not bad. Okay, you guys all see and hear some boots uh, from up the corridor, and you see 
some three uh, guards wearing guard uniforms come out of the right corridor, the corridor to the right there, and they run out. And you guys can all see that Dell is standing behind them as they run out and start uh, moving down the corridor towards you guys. Wait, we can see him? Well, Elon, where is Elon? Well, Elon can't see him because he's so far away. Everyone else, yes, you can see Dell. He looks like he's trying to be stealthy, but you can all see him. Yeah. He's doing a good job. Yeah, it looks like the guards didn't, though. So it's my turn now, or...? Yes, now it's your turn. Noticing them, I yell to them. You three, some, I caught someone trying to break in here. They they were really hard to see. I don't know what, some sort of stealth generator or something. They went in here. I don't know who this is, but they broke down the door. Hurry, this way. And then I run. You, then they'll call after you. Are you the one who sounded the alarm? No, I, I was just the first one to, to spot them. Someone, everyone else ran off. I didn't want to let them get away. And then I run in here. Do I see him? Yes, you do. Well, you can roll perception. <laughs> but yes, you're going to see him. Cause... Yes, you see him. <laughs> and that one. <laughs> it's the only way. <laughs> If I had also got a hat one, I might not have seen it. <laughs> okay, I will step. Let me see. I move one, two, three. I will step to the side that should still be within range of move object, and I will grab him. So I'm just going to hold him and move him closer to the door. So, like, right there. Okay, so you uh, run into the room and grab him. Well, let's see. Let us see what his reflex defense is. So you run into the room and grab him, and he's pulled off his feet and brought closer to the door. And how far off the ground do you leave him? Like a foot? So he's just like dangling there? Um, let's say like two or three feet. I don't want him to... I, I, I want to make it difficult for him if he tries anything. Okay. Okay, Elon. I'm still ahead. There we go. That should be 12. Okay, as this you round the corner, you big. see additional security guards coming down the hall towards you. Alright, in that case, uh, as I see them and continue on my journey. There's somebody throwing grenades back there. They will all stare at you and then nod. Okay, Kalani. So this guy is under control now? Yeah, he's floating there. Uh, does Guards he have anything... Does he have anything to fight back with or whatever? Uh, hey, well, perception. everyone else's eyes. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, you see that he's still wearing... I mean, he's still holding his gun. That's about it. You probably he's wouldn't also know floating what I did in the air. to it. Well, then again, you might have... Then again, you were there when I did what I did to the gun, so... And you're Force-sensitive. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> so he's got at least one shot before, um... Yeah, that can't hurt us. Uh, I'm thinking it might be good to stealth again and hide. I don't want to have to explain this. Stealth, hide, and run far, far away. Yeah. And don't stop. Okay, so you're gonna roll stealth. Roll again. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, putting my lightsaber away and stealthy. Bye! Uh, where do I go? I believe there are windows in here. Hmm. Okay, where's the window? Uh, there are windows all along the edge that's adjacent to the grass. Because that's the, the other grass? one of the mansion. Oh, you can't. Oh, that part's still in the fog of war. That's the outside of the mansion. So there's like large windows. Because this is. Sort of like a lounge area filled with tables and chairs and couches and stuff. So there are large windows in the back of the room. Are they openable? <laughs> uh, you can inspect them when you get there. That seems to be as far as I can go for now. Uh, Ajax. Yep. Real perception. Yeah, you see um, the waiter coming towards you, and the guy you're watching bumps into him, and then keeps walking. <laughs> But I didn't see him do anything. It was pretty far away, so no, he didn't. I'd be paranoid as all heck, point. Yes. Thanks so much for poison your guy. Or it's a bomb. <laughs> yeah, I'll lean over him. You know, the same guy who sneezed in your glass just bumped into the waiters coming over here. Try and flag down a different one. Not to cause panic, but could just be a coincidence, but never could be too careful. Wait, wait, what are you saying? Are you saying someone's trying to poison me? I said... <laughs> just, just <laughs> to side, I, it looked like an innocent moment. I couldn't tell what was going on, but just to be on the safe side, flag down a different waiter. He sort of looks slightly panicked, and he looks at the waiter <laughs> walking towards them, and he starts shaking his head really violently to the side. No, 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 and waving his hands. He doesn't want anything. Uh... <laughs> well, that's the smart move. Okay, Lexa. Okay. Uh, I move up to see the Hornet. Ignoring the guards. And I take out uh, my needler and I shoot at him. 
Um. Okay. Not taking him alive then, I guess. So are you shooting him from outside of the door with a hole in it, or inside the door? It looks like you're outside the door. I guess I can go in, because Vikas is in, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm gonna use point blank shot. Um, because I have poison on it, it only does stun damage. Okay. I'm trying to to immobilize him. Ah. Okay, so I don't think there's a penalty for him being held by Picaz. So uh, might be re denied reflex bonus. That might be the only penalty. Yeah, that makes sense. We'll go with that. Yeah, it'd be considered uh, flat-footed, but that's the only thing I can I can recall for that. So you shoot him, and the it bounces off of his armor. Well, we're gonna have to get closer next time. Uh, then I, I put into the comms. We have the Hornet. Repeat, we have the Hornet. Okay, you hear say, Del saying, excellent work. And I guess that's my turn. Okay. Okay, the Hornet is going to take out his gun. Well, not take out. He's going to hold up his gun and aim it at Picaz and try to shoot. I guess he'll roll. Even though he has no energy packs. And I guess we'll base this off of, like, Force Whirlwind, which is you get a minus five to your attack rolls while you're being held. Not that it matters if he gets enough to hit me. Well, I'm just mainly rolling to see if he gets a natural one. Oh, that's so sad! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. What? <laughs> it absorbs additional static electricity from the air and then... No, just kidding. Okay. So he pulls out his gun and yeah. fires it. <laughs> and he grins as he shoots you right in the face. But nothing happens. <laughs> the shot was all lined up. The barrel was aimed right at Picasso's face, inches from his nose. Deek. <laughs> Barry. Okay, so then the guards come down, and you hear them running behind. Alexa, you can look through the door and see them. And they look at the door and they yell, "What's going on over here?" I will reply, I've caught the person sneaking in here. If you guys can apprehend him, that would be helpful. What do you mean caught? What guy? Are you the one who broke this door down? No, some weird giant cat thing. A weird glowing sword cut it open. I just came on through because I knew the guy went in here. A giant glowing sword? Are you saying that the Sith are here? I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm not too familiar with the Sith. <laughs> and, uh, Alon, the other guards just run right past you. Yeah, I figured. Okay, Picasso, do you want to do what? It's your turn now. I'll just hold him there. He ain't going anywhere now. Okay, Eiland. Eiland is going to chirp over comms. Got to assume to have this. Have to have this situation in hand. Uh, do you still need me to? 
pick up your weapons? Yes, yes. And with that, Aelin is going to continue on running. Meow. Okay, Kalani. Um, I'm going to head to the windows and take a look to see if I can get out without drawing too much attention, hopefully. Okay, want to roll perception? <sighs> so it looks like these are just like really large paned windows that are for seeing out of. And they don't have any screens or... Um, any sort of opening mechanism that you can see. Eh, bother. But the panes of glass are about 5 feet wide and 10 feet tall. Can I hide behind some furniture or something? <laughs> Yeah, you still have some move. You can use a move action and hide behind like a couch or something. Yeah, okay. I don't know where you want that to be. Well, I'm assuming you're trying to be hidden from like everywhere near the entrance, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we'll just say there's a long couch right there. And the seat side is facing away from you, so you're like hiding behind the back of the couch. Uh. <laughs> Meow. Okay then. Okay, Ajax, roll perception. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, suddenly you see Shoot that the guy you're, you're looking at uh, disappears into a crowd of people. And you don't know where he went, but it was okay. to your left. <laughs> I will frantically look for him on my next turn. Okay. Uh, but... I also turn to Derek and just be like, you know, just to be on the safe side, I wouldn't drink or eat anything else while we're here. <laughs> <laughs> that poor guy. He has some food on his fork and he looks at it. And he's like, <laughs> okay, and he puts it back down. I'm just seeing like sad because puppy dog eyes. Basically, like, he was like frantically waving off the waiter and then he like quickly looked back down on his plate and pretended like nothing was wrong and started trying to eat. And then you said that and then he just like stopped his fork raising to his mouth and he just stares at you. He looks very horrified. <laughs> oh dear. Hey, you're doing your job. <laughs> My job is to make people terrify. Got <laughs> <laughs> him not dead at the end of the night. <laughs> For me, first. Uh. Okay, I think the turn order is going to break down um, for this part. So we will just say that unless Alexa... Well, Alexa, what exactly are you planning on doing? Are you going to try to shoot him again? No, it seems like the cause has got him for now. I, okay, I do want to try and coyly put my gun away, kind of like stealthily before the guards can see that I tried to shoot him. Okay, roll stealth for that. Not certain it's going to work, but yeah, I may as well try. Or a roll deception. Uh, 
I think that falls under stealth, but deception would be if they've already seen it. Okay, well, regardless, they don't see you, so you stealthily put away your gun. I take a breath, and I turn around towards them. Hello, hello, sirs. This man was just trying to rob your boss. My friends and I were trying to stop it. Forgive the deception, uh, but unfortunately, uh, we couldn't be uh, too careful. My friend here is a bounty hunter, and he wished to... this is his quarry. And I, and I roll deception for that. Are you rolling deception? Wait, what? So I'm trying to lie to them to say, like, that Picaz is a bounty hunter and he's trying to capture Hor the Hornet and he's having to lie because we didn't, we're, it's all confusing. I'm kind of trying yeah. to, to give him credit for everything. Okay, so roll deception. Okay, you see them all nod. And they also um, try to walk into the room through the uh, hole in the door. So do you step back and let them walk through? Uh, I walk over here. I kind of want to stay close enough though. I, I, I want to, yeah. But I want to stay close to him because obviously I want to have him. Okay, so the guy who is sort of leading the party of three walks in first and walks up to the horn and it's there's at him and the other two walk in and one of them starts inspecting the door. The other one looks at Picaz. And then, I got distracted by team speak. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, okay, they come in. Yeah, so they come in, the one of them starts looking at the hornet, the other one starts looking at you, the other is looking at the door. And then the hornet says, Oh, by the way, there's a cat trying to hide in the corner over there. <laughs> she sliced down the door. With a lightsaber. The security well, guard says, wrong. Wait, what? And he dispatches the guy who's looking at the door. Go look over there. Uh, thanks. Yeah, that cat cutting down that door is convenient catching this guy, but, um, a little bit rude. Okay, so then... Small talk with the guards. Okay, and the guard says, uh, can I see your bounty hunter's license, sir? <laughs> uh -oh. I exactly bring anything with me. I'll have to show it to you later. Left it in the locker. <laughs> so you're wearing our uh, our outfit. Do you are you employed for Mr. Block? Yep, I was just doing my job. But you're also a bounty hunter. Yep, I can do both. So, were you hunting this guy, or did you just happen to randomly see him? Well, I just happened to randomly see him, but I was also hunting him. Okay, well, <laughs> perception. 
Well, I mean, it's not a lie. I, wait, I so you, wait, so you admit you admit that you were hunting him? Yeah, I'm no, saying. Okay, okay. I'm saying both. I'm saying I was hunting him. I was just in the right place at the right time to see him. I did everything. Just everything. I also secretly planned the party, too, while we were doing this. <laughs> <laughs> did you see those chandeliers up there that are spinning and glowing? Yeah, on me. And, you know, this is all going on. I'm subtly hinting that it wouldn't have been my choice to damage the door or any property. I just took advantage of what happened. Right, so wanna run it by me again exactly how the door got cut down? Yeah, this weird cat. Uh, quick question, was she wearing her un the uniform? No, she took it off. Yeah, this big cat with the glowing sword just cut it down and then disappeared. I was gonna try and get it to unlock, but... And Picard shrugs. Uh, I see. I probably ha I don't have that on me, though. I was saying he left his in his locker, but that's like my ID, so that'd probably be where my my Republic ID is. Well, we're gonna have to ask that all everyone remain in this room while we contact our superior and Mr. Block. Not a problem, sir. Excellent. Glad to hear it. Uh, you might want... I, it's kind of hard keeping him there. Could, could you, uh, you know, d detain him somehow, if you wouldn't mind? Okay, so then he pulls out some binder cuffs and puts it on the Hornet. Because nods in gratitude. And stops maintaining move object. Then the Hornet says, looking at Lexa and Picaz, what are you guys trying to capture me for? Money? I can pay you 50,000 credits to let me out of here before reinforcements show up. I'm not really of a mind to fight these people or get in bed with any law. So, um, no. Besides, I'm not the buffoon who cut down this door, so I uh, shouldn't be mad at me. I will glance at the guards. Well, aside from the fact that you're floating this target in here, and that you're hunting a bounty while also working for us, we're going to have to postpone judgment until the others get here. Because, Nudge, you can ask the other workers I was doing my job right. And they turn to Alexa. And what exactly are you doing in here? I'm his paid sidekick. Well, I mean, it's actually the other way around. You see, I su I'm his paid I su sidekick. She actually has the license. <laughs> to her. So, all legal, you understand. Wait, um, I'm sir. I just don't think I quite follow. Who's in charge character. of this operation? Out of character, because you're a terrible liar. <laughs> Legally her, in reality me. <laughs> I had a game with you. I had a game with you. Yeah, but, okay, out of character real quick. They're going to find out, one way or the other. There's going to be looking for their license. This is safer. Get it out of the way now. Okay. Okay, also over the comms, you all hear Dell saying, Excellent work distracting the guards, keep it up. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, let's go back to Ajax for a second. Wait, Dell, what are you doing? 
Okay, Ajax, roll perception. Wait, can you guys hear me? Yep. Del did not okay. respond to you. Okay, Del's not responding, okay. Just checking. You continue glancing around. Do you, are you looking frantically or just regularly? I wouldn't say frantically. Okay, you glance look. around <laughs> surreptitiously. <laughs> and well, you... see, I can glance with my eyes without moving my head. But your visor doesn't have very good peripheral vision, does it? It wraps around quite a bit, so like, I mean, like, I move my head, like, slowly, but my eyes can dart quickly. Okay. You do that, and you do not sight the man in the tuxedo. Also, this is... Well, for the others, it's sort of multiple turns, Barry, so you, we can say that you're back at the uh, the place with all the equipment. What exactly are you planning on doing once you get there? Oh, actually, Ajax, sorry. The one thing that you did notice was you see a guard uh, walk into the head table where Block is sitting and whisper in his ear, and then Block gets up and starts leaving. Um... Okay, so Barry, what is Elon doing? Are you still beelining it for the lockers? No, I, I said we could skip to the part where you're there. What are you intending okay. to do? Uh, round up everything. Uh, my gear, uh, put it on, all this jazz. Find Alexis, uh, find Alexis' gear. See if I can't find her sword and whatnot, and her stuff. And probably try see if I can't get it to her okay are you planning on like looking in every single locker or how are you gonna find the other stuff that's what I'm trying to debate on loot everything <laughs> see the Skyrim player in me says loot them all But then Ajax will come in and make sure you are shot for your stupidity. Okay, well, I'm just gonna, okay, so clarify how the security, the, I mean, the personnel lockers are. They obviously have locks so that you can be confident your stuff's not gonna be stolen. So they all have electronic, like, keypad locks, and they also have numbers. Yeah, uh, with that, uh, I'll... So everyone knows what the combination and number of their locker was, and you'll have comlinks. Yeah, that's what I was going to do, is I was going to send over comms. Lexo, what's your locker number and, call and lock? <coughs> 14. <coughs> 5 1. <laughs> 5 1 is the amount of guards I thought would be there. Five one was the amount of what? What? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to sneakily give you a locker number. <laughs> but yeah, I figured it was probably locker number fourteen. The code is fifty one. And Elon repeats that back. Locker number 14, code num uh, code 51. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. And he goes to that <laughs> one, opens it up. Ah! Let me out! Let me out! Um, I'm trying to, I'm gonna try to get out of here before I'm found. <laughs> I'm not sure how, but, um... Ah! Yeah, while the other two are talking with Bakaz and Lexa, this guy's... 
disappearing around corners and stuff. <laughs>